Okay, uh, we started the example uh, about government intervention and how can we uh, assess this intervention by using producer and consumer surplus uh, uh, tool as a tool. Okay, we started this example. We ha are given uh, demand and supply function and solving this uh, demand and supply for Q to equilibrium level of quantities 19 and equilibrium prices 620 and by using basic formula base time height divided by 2 we can calculate consumer surplus and producer surplus and sum of consumer and producer surplus is uh, 9025 assume that uh, uh, government is implementing a 50 uh, Turkish lira uh, sales tax on uh, this uh, commodity and if we implement uh, this $50, uh, 50 Turkish lira uh, sales tax on our supply curve, supply curve is going to shift uh, to the left. Uh, as a reminder, you can also use this uh, or add this uh, tax on demand curve and you are going to see nothing is going to change. We are going to have uh, the same result. <coughs> Anyway, uh, assume that our new supply function uh, by adding tax is going to be 100 plus 30 Q. So there is a 50 unit uh, increase uh, of supply function. Uh, setting supply and demand uh, is equal. So uh, this sector uh, is moving from this point to here. The equilibrium quantity is 18, so reduced by 1 and the equilibrium price is increased from 620 to 640 but uh, in uh, tax issue because of tax incidence uh, the consumer price is not increased as much as uh, 50 uh, turkish lira instead uh, depending on the elasticity of demand uh, part of the tax is going to uh, uh, reflected on price for uh, consumer but part of the uh, tax is uh, paid by the uh, actual seller uh, given this by uh, plugging this number in uh, demand curve we are going to find how much the uh, consumer is pay and if we plug this number into the initial uh, supply curve we are going to see how much the uh, seller is going to receive so the difference is 640 minus 590 is going to 50 turkish lira which is equal to tax <clears throat> so uh, this is the basically before and after tax what happens and the in the second step so this is a government intervention we are going to use uh, the consumer and producer uh, surplus as uh, for uh, as a tool to evaluate uh, the uh, distortion that is uh, created by the uh, government intervention. Again, I just remind you that we initially assumed that uh, there is no market failure. So this is uh, in our, our uh, example, we start with no uh, market failure case. So markets are uh, operating per, uh, under the perfect competition. Uh, and even uh, when markets are uh, operating in uh, perfect competition, in our example, govern when government intervene in, in economy by using tax, as you see, consumer producer surplus change significantly. Let's see. <clears throat> Before the uh, tax, our equilibrium is uh, again 620 and 19, but after tax, our quantity decline. And our consumer surplus declined by area of A plus B uh, and our producer surplus declined by C plus D and our tax revenue is equal to A plus C. Uh, let me see. Uh, according to this figure, consumer surplus decline, uh, producer surplus decline but the tax revenue is only equal to A plus C. So the, this triangle, uh, which is also known as dead weight loss due to taxation, uh, the area of B plus D is uh, just uh, taken out from society and it is going nowhere. That is why 
when economy is operating in a, a competitive market or perfect competition, if government implement uh, tax policy or tax on uh, sales of commodities, then we are going to have, uh, lose efficiency because our social welfare decline. Another uh, important example in terms of government intervention is subsidy or negative tax. So instead of the same example, assume that government uh, wants to <coughs> use subsidy uh, for this commodity instead of tax. So what is the outcome uh, for this case? In here, uh, co consumers are paid by uh, 50 Turkish lira uh, subsidy for consuming this. Initially, our equilibrium is 19 and 620 Turkish lira, but because uh, government is giving uh, 50 Turkish lira for each unit consume, and that is why we are moving from here to there, where consumption uh, increased by 20. So, uh, my students, you are going, uh, you are watching this video and uh, try to figure out how can I find this 20 and 650. So it is a homework. When you uh, learn this stuff, uh, okay, the amount of subsidy uh, government is uh, paying to consumer is area of A, C, D, E and F. But when we look at like, you know, how much consumer gain, how much producer gain, uh, consumer gain A, area A, but uh, producer gain C plus D, but uh, on the other hand, since the subsidy cost the government more than uh, the gain by consumer and producer, and this is why this E plus F is uh, that weight loss for subsidy. Uh, probably the area is uh, greater than or bigger than uh, the uh, tax case. That is why subsidy also generate that weight loss for the society. Another important issue is when government uh, impose tax or uh, subsidy over a commodity, uh, not only uh, the particular product that we are uh, interested in, but uh, also consumer change their behavior and probably we are going to see they switch their consumption pattern. So let's say if government impose a tax on uh, good X, uh, we expect that uh, a product, let's say good Y, is also uh, affected from this policy. If good Y is uh, complements uh, and if the goods are complements, an increase in one goods price shifts other goods demand curve to the left and that is why we can see the demand for good Y is higher and also price is higher. For substitute, the opposite is true. That is why market interaction is uh, also an important point in evaluating the uh, overall uh, assessment in government policy. So uh, when we look at, uh, uh, evaluate the situation, if we start with Pareto optimality and then ask ourselves whether government intervention is good or bad, if we start at Pareto optimality, uh, probably we are going to see uh, some distortion created by the government intervention. But uh, when competitive market uh, assumptions are not hold true, then uh, government intervention might uh, actually increase efficiency. And in this uh, throughout uh, public e economic class, we are going to uh, cover those area where government intervention is actually uh, sometimes at least uh, can uh, improve efficiency. Okay, have a nice day.